Hi guys, this is Buddha Ball number one. Two more to go. Okay guys, this is Buddha Ball number two. Catch that roasted butter squash. Beautiful that looks. Yeah, we can't wait to remove this and to indulge. So yeah, I'm gonna give those um, veggies, the potato and the carrot, another five or so minutes, and then we're done. We're gonna move them to the plate, and you can already see how beautiful the plate that Buddha Bao is coming along. Hi guys, welcome welcome to Cooking with Min and Meg. We're in the kitchen today to make three fantastic Buddha bowls. We're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna cook and we want you guys to just follow along and just see what we're using in our dishes. Follow them exactly the same way don't be afraid if you have um what is a buddha dish a buddha bowl is actually buddha going from place to place in asia and whatever the people of the community you know the peasants and everybody give them give him he would put it in a bowl and he would make up a, a meal from that so whatever you get whatever you want to put eggs you want to put chicken you want to put fish whatever you want to put in your buddha bowl don't be afraid and we're going to do an egg one so it's going to be a fantastic ride we want you guys to go come along to this bomb.com bowls and let us just go in the kitchen and jam this out guys it's gonna be such fun so let's roll that camera guys let's go okay guys so the first one we're gonna be doing today is roasted butter squash with cabbage and yellow onion and we're gonna make an almond mint sauce to go with this one okay so we want you guys to just come along and let's go with this first Buddha bow, okay? So let's go guys. Okay guys, so since we'll be using some chickpeas with this Buddha bow, what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and start the chickpeas. And the chickpeas that we're using is the, yeah, Iberia chickpeas okay so I'm just gonna cook that those chickpeas for a quick minute just gonna use half a cup of chickpeas okay hopefully you guys can see so in a bowl we just put the chickpeas Okay guys, so we're just going to pour in some half a cup of water, sorry, one cup of water. And we're going to boil the, the chickpeas for just seven minutes, okay, or or until they're tender, okay. So we're going to go to the stove with that one. While the chickpeas is cooking, we're just going to go ahead and chop our... Um, and in the chickpeas, I'm just going to put some cabbage. sea salt. Okay. While the chickpeas is cooking, we're just going to go ahead and chop our um, cabbage, okay? Okay guys, so in a very clean bowl, we're just going to wash our cabbage, okay? Okay guys, so what we're going to do now that we've washed the cabbage, we're just going to put a few pieces of um, carrot in. We're going to put some vinegar dressing on, just a teaspoon of vinegar dressing, and that's all natural vinegar dressing. We're going to put some lemon 
juice on. And of course, you want to extract the seed. We're just going to massage all of that into the cabbage. We're going to put some orange juice in. And a few pieces of the orange is okay to fall in. We want that. We have some freshly chopped garlic. We're going to put in a couple pieces. Here we have some horseradish. We're going to put in some of that. We're going to put in a few leaves of mint. We're going to put in a few pieces of mint in. What we're going to do, we have some freshly chopped cucumbers. We're going to throw the two, two pieces in. We have some freshly chopped yellow onion. We're going to pour a few pieces in also. We want to ma massage in some black pepper. We're going to drizzle in some sesame oil, of course, so. And while the chickpeas is cooking, we're going to put in some chop, we're going to chop some potatoes and we're going to put those potatoes in because we're going to use it in our sauce also. Okay guys, we're also going to put some roasted butter squash, which we have right here. We're going to put that in also. So we're going to put in some freshly picked rosemary. Okay, and we're going to put in our butter squash, roasted butter squash. Okay, while that's going guys, we're going to soft the boil an egg to go with this. So soft boil egg. And we'll only boil the egg for approximately 6 to 7 minutes only to get that soft boil. Other than that, it's going to be hard. So 6 to 7 minutes only, okay? We have some fresh the chopped. We have some frozen um, green onion. We can pour that in a bowl. We have some freshly chopped garlic. We're gonna pour that in also. Also have some red peppers, and we just gonna go ahead and cut that up into small strips. We also have some parsley. We're gonna chop some parsley. And we wanna pour in that parsley also. We want to put some black pepper, freshly ground, ground black pepper into this. We just want to put a little bit more over here also. Okay. And so we're going to go to the stove, we're going to saute all of this, okay, to mix with the chickpeas, okay? So let's go. Okay guys, we're going to drizzle in some sesame oil. And that's on low heat. Of course. And now we want to stir in the 
Okay guys, so now that we have sauteed all that, what we're going to do with our stove on low heat, we're going to stir in our chickpeas. We're going to make up our mint sauce, okay? So we're going to pour the chick some chickpeas and potatoes with the skin in a blender. We're going to pour in a few pieces of mint. We're going to chop a strawberry. We're going to put in a half of strawberry. We're going to put some salt. We're going to blend. Pour it in a little water. Then we're going to blend. Okay. That's about two teaspoons of water. So we are ready to make the sauce. Okay, we're gonna put a little sesame oil in. Okay. So we're gonna put in one clove of garlic. We're gonna drizzle in some sesame oil. Or if you if you have olive oil, that's good too. We're gonna put a piece of orange in and we want the inside of the orange to go in also so we're just going to pour that it looks so rich mm -hmm. and it is pretty isn't that pretty okay so we're going to pour in our sauce okay guys so the highlight of this Buddha bowl is actually the chickpeas. Oh boy, that is so delicious. And we're just going to pile on this rich aroma veggie with green onion. This is fragrance my kitchen and what do we know the bowl is almost finished okay guys so the bowl is almost bowl number one is almost finished and so what we're going to do we're going to put on a few more pieces of the roasted squash it tastes so good And so we're going to go ahead and pour on a little of the sauce on this. The bowl number one completed. We're going to drizzle, in, drizzle on some more. A little olive oil on this. You give it that rich flavor. That's Buddha, Buddha bowl number one. And now we're going to start Buddha bowl number two. We're going to use some sweet potatoes and we're going to roast them. We're going to roast some carrots. Enjoy. Chop some red peppers. Chop some green peppers also to go with this dish. We're going to go ahead and chop some purple cabbage. Beet green. We're going to need some freshly chopped garlic. We need some green scallion. 
and we're just about ready to begin so let's go okay guys so what we did we went ahead and we roast our potatoes our sweet potato which you can see here and then we cut them in little cubes and we lightly fry them fried them into some sesame oil which we're taking out and then there was one piece that we just roast and we left it that way okay and there we go with the potatoes okay guys so now that the potatoes are finished we're just going to go ahead and we're going to just take the opportunity of steaming some veggies to go with this roast potato okay we're just going to massage in our many veggies on low heat kale bok choy cabbage we're going to put the pepper to sort of saute okay to give it that beautiful flavor we're going to stir in our cabbage our um, carrot we're going to go ahead and put in some spinach go ahead guys and put in some beet green peppers okay hopefully everybody can see and our red peppers we're going to put in a few beans We're going to put a piece of ginger. We're going to put in some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. And we're going to put in some radish. And that completes the dish, guys. We're going to go ahead and put in a few pieces of thyme. Gonna put in a few pieces of green onion. And while that's going guys, we're gonna go ahead and put in a little salt, a pinch of salt, a generous amount of black pepper. And the dish is done. The dish is done, guys. I just wanted guys to come up close to see this Buddha bowl number two, how beautiful it looks. So we're practically done. And so we're going to make up a sauce to go with this. Okay guys, so the dish is done. That dish is done. Okay. So that's our Buddha bowl number three. Okay. Buddha bowl number three. Okay. That's our Buddha bowl number three. Isn't that beautiful? Number two, Buddha Bowl number two. For the third Buddha Bowl. And to begin, we're going to do some balga. And this is a balga that we'll be, we'll be using. 
Okay. And it's a natural bulgur wheat. That's the one we're gonna be using. So I've gone ahead and what we're gonna do in a saucepan, we're gonna pour in two cups of water. We're gonna pour in two cups of bulgur. We're gonna pour in some sea salt. And we're gonna put this on the stove. Okay, we're gonna put this on the stove to begin the cooking. And while that's going. Okay guys, so Okay guys, so while that's going, while that bulgur is going, we're going to go ahead and cut some celery into small pieces. So we're going to roast those celery. We're going to chop some onion. We're going to roast those also. We're going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and chop some onions. We're going to go ahead and cut some sweet potatoes. We're going to roast those also. Okay guys, so we have some carrots here that we have already washed. We're going to roast those also, so we're going to put that over there. We're going to put away the celery. We don't need that no more. We're going to, we have some peppers here. And we're going to roast a piece of that one to go with this dish. Just going to cut the pepper. Chunky pieces to go with this dish. We're going to roast those peppers also. Okay. We have some tomatoes that we're going to roast also. We have some, some radish that we're going to roast also. We have some broccoli that we're going to roast also. We have some mint to make some sauce and we're going to use the mint and the strawberry to make a sauce okay at the end of it all we're going to sprinkle on some sea salt with some natural vegetable flakes and some sesame oil to go with that alrighty so let's go okay guys so we're just about getting ready to go to the stove to the oven and so we put on our disc our um, potato disc onto our this foil paper here, we put on our carrot which we're going to brush with some honey. We're going to put some relish onto our potato with some sea salt. We're going to pile on our radish also. We're going to pile on our, our onions. We're going to pile on our celery. We also put some purple cabbage, which I really love, on here. Put on our celery. Put on our tomatoes. We're going to put on our broccoli. Gonna put on some mint. We're gonna brush. We're gonna brush on some relish. Once our relish is gone. 
go put on some sea salt guys this is gonna be so good so we're gonna put on some sea salt over everything we're gonna put on some black pepper over everything here We're going to put on some vegetable flakes. We're going to put some honey. So we're going to just put the honey in this container. And then we're going to brush that onto the cab carrots a kind of glaze. So what we're doing now is just brush on the onion onto our carrot to give it that beautiful glaze. Let's we'll put some onto the potato with the relish. We put some relish onto our potato. Now I'm going to put some onion. Okay guys, so since we want you guys to see how we roll with this Buddha dish here, we're not going to use a conventional oven, we're going to use our new wave and we're going to do this right here so you can see. So we're going to open our new wave, and I'm on the platter right here and we're ready to roll. Okay guys, so this is just about ready to so move, okay? So we're ready to start the roasting for our Buddha dog. Okay. So let's go guys. We're ready to move with our Buddha dog. We're just going to put on the oven and we're going to give it 10 minutes to start roasting and then we're done. Okay. Okay guys, so we're just about ready to remove those veggies from our oven. I just want to zoom you guys in so you can see how beautiful this looks. We removed the tender ones and now the carrot is cooking with those potatoes. They're looking so beautiful. I want to bring you guys up close so you can see how beautiful that looks yeah we can't wait to remove this and to indulge so yeah i'm gonna give those um veggies the potato and the carrot another five or so minutes and then we're done we're gonna move them to the plate and you can already see how beautiful the plate that buddha bowl is coming along how beautiful that Buddha bowl looks. Buddha bowl number three. Okay guys, so now that the Buddha bowl is almost finished, we're gonna put on some few some zest of lemon one, which I really like. I'm just gonna create that one. So those are just zest of lemon all over, which I really like. Give that citrus, very citrus taste, but not overpowering. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and make a sauce for this Buddha bowl. Okay. So in a container, we're gonna put in a few pieces of strawberries. We're gonna put some green peppers. We're gonna put some red peppers. In a bowl we put some green peppers, red peppers, strawberries. I'm gonna put a bit of avocado in, give it a creamy taste. We're 
gonna put some green onion in also. We're gonna put some sesame seed in and the remaining. And these are just roasted sesame seed. The rest of the sesame seed we're gonna put on our Buddha dish. Roasted sesame seed. I'm gonna put some more in here. I'm gonna put some coconut cream. Okay guys, so that's what we're using. And that's been melted. So we're just gonna put half cup of coconut cream in with some, some sesame, more sesame seeds. We want to pour in a little more honey into this. Okay guys, so we're just going to blend, blend, blend. Okay guys, so this is what this rich, creamy, rich, creamy sauce looks like. And myself from our home to your home we just want to say thank you for stopping by hope you enjoy these Buddha dishes we want you to go out there and try them and if they're success if you, they taste their taste just like these either way we want to know how yours came out so you know that Minnie's is going to enjoy this dish because of course she's a vegetarian and um, this is strictly plant-based. These dishes are strictly plant-based except for the, the one with the egg. So we just want to thank you for stopping by. And we are going to be uploading some other videos coming up shortly. We want to do a, I want to do some seafood. So um, until I see you again, on behalf of my sister and myself, we just want to say thank you so much we do appreciate you coming by so on your way out don't forget to subscribe thumbs up comment enjoy life it's beautiful and it's what you make it to be so until we see you again walk good to ta cha la bella bye bye from our home to our, your home bye bye